All right, so ever since I reacted to the uh, Down Syndrome People video, people have been asking me to um react to a lot of stuff like this. I guess maybe I like my opinions. I don't know. Or maybe y'all are just fucked up and y'all want to see me get canceled. I don't know what's going on, but somebody sent this to me. Do all disabled people think the same? Or, yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it, bruh. I don't think people really see the fact that people with disabilities have sexual desires. I have a sex swing. I, that's amazing. So like, does her box still work? A genuine, like, do you, uh, I don't want to Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. And I asked the question, I'm not making a joke. I'm, I'm serious. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's the cameraman's fault. Cause he knows goddamn well why the fuck is this in slow motion, bro? Like, why is this in slow motion? Like, it's a Fast and Furious movie, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's crazy to me. I am offended by the word Isn't that the medical Three, term? Is it not the? Two, one. Is that not the medical term? Whoa. I don't necessarily think that it's bad word and that it's something we shouldn't use but i also don't think it should be the only word that defines us either i understand like disabled like what's wrong with her means not able to and like i feel like i'm able to do most things that an able person can do i just have to do them differently okay well i mean if you in a wheelchair you're disabled you can't stand that's not like what <laughs> like <laughs> i think it's a better word than words that have been used to describe me. I hate the word special. I, I think it's so demeaning and like, I was called it my childhood, you know, like special ed. Ugh, I, I literally get like chills thinking about that word. You know what's crazy? Normal, I'm gonna use that in parentheses. Normal people love being called special, but then uh, people with disabilities don't like being called special. Isn't that crazy, bro? It's like and yin and so yang. And disabled, I feel like is a more mature, version that doesn't hold that connotation for me. This country provides enough resources for the disabled. Hey, I can't talk on this. This is interesting. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> are we all oh, okay. okay, no, hold up. How are you going to go to disagree, but you just said, bruh, hold up. How, no, that don't make sense. Okay, if you were going to disagree, but you just said that you're more than that and you shouldn't be just described as that but now you're saying oh but they also need to give us more stuff isn't that not kind of contradicting is that not contradicting Healthcare, from my point of view is not made for people who have chronic disabilities chronic diseases even if you have medical coverage you're still paying a portion of those bills it's a cycle that you put yourself in debt so that you can't get a proper apartment or get a house for the people who they count it as ssi so it's low income social security they think that you should be able to live off of like 900 dollars a month there's also a thing with it, it. you can't have more than two thousand dollars mm -hmm. in your account for checking and savings and as soon as you hit a cent over it you lose your social security because they think you're making too much that's, so yeah, that's i stupid. have I a chronic that. illness that's called crazy. idiopathic hypersomnia which is a sleep disorder from the onset of symptoms it took eight years to even get sent to a sleep doctor and not to mention the education system mm -hmm. i'm so lucky that i have an iep i couldn't imagine what school would be like if I didn't. But even with that, getting the accommodations of like my teachers trying to understand that I only come to school three out of five days a week and that I can't do busy work because I'll fall asleep, quite literally. I legally have these she just like me rights you. to not do certain work and sometimes teachers just don't understand that and it's so hard trying to argue with them so that I can just be a normal student. But it's, can't you just bring, I'm, I'm actually ag genuinely asking, aren't you supposed to bring, in cases like that, some type of slip that shows, oh no, this is like this? Because I know me personally, when I was in uh, high school, I was in, uh, I ain't gonna lie, chat. Hey, I'm special. I was in special ed. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So whenever I had to take tests or stuff, I had like a slip that I was like, oh, hey, I get extra time because my, my comprehension skills uh, were lower. So I get extra time on tests and shit. And even they say, if I go to college, 
I could have that same thing. So is it not something like that to where you're supposed to? Because that's what I, they told me to do. And I'm, I would argue, less, uh, my, my condition is less or isn't as bad as hers. So I would think they would have, or maybe it varies state to state. People are ignorant about my disability. Okay. A lot of people have been so understanding and accommodating and like, oh, like, you know, I heard about that from this TV show or like, is it like this? Or like, you know, asking questions. And I think people are genuinely curious. There are people that I educate and are still ignorant and totally meanie yeah. pants. That's why I'm not in strongly disagree because there's always going to be haters, you know, but I think Blocking people are good. So for me, I, w I would agree, but I would come from like a place of understanding because I feel like even people with disabilities don't understand other people with disabilities as well. Okay. Because I feel Correct. like, you know, you could have the same kind of disability, the same type, but the way it affects you could be very different. I have a disease called a muscular dystrophy and that is a wide spectrum and so you can't really understand it because some people Unless their you, yeah. muscles get weaker quicker than okay. others. I have spina bifida and the type I have is lipomyelomeningocele. My dad No nah, bro, did she just say fucking ninja seal? Like teenage ninja No, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This, these names are insane. Why are all these names so like I, like, I, like, what did she say again? I have spina bifida, and the type I have is lipomyelomeningocele. Like, bro, that sounds like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you gave me an option between taking that or a Percocet, I'm choosing a Percocet. I don't, a lipo, my, I don't know what she just said. I'm actually like. My dad served in the Vietnam War, and a chemical called Agent Orange he came in contact with, and that chemical caused my spina bifida. Oh, so she's a mutant. I was right when I said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's kind of crazy, what the fuck? When you learn about spina bifida, most people think that they're wheelchair users. And it's also because the Spina Bifida Association, they only show one narrative of it, which is an issue in general across the disability spectrum. I have a channel where I educate about disability as a whole. And even people who are trying to learn still want to argue with a disabled person when we're teaching them. So basically what I'm hearing is, all their arguments are generally stemming from my specific disability is on a spectrum. So even though people understand one point of the spectrum, they don't understand where I am on the spectrum. Is that why I'm, is that, does that sound accurate? I appreciate That's fair. people offer me help. Okay, Three, okay. Two, one. I like those answers. <laughs> I use a cane on and off. When I do have my cane, I like that people offer me help when I'm riding the metro or the bus, but then it's the extra comments that they think they're doing like a great deed that they're gonna win a Nobel Peace Prize and oh they'll start God, infantilizing. Bro. You don't like help? Bro, I'm, I'm not disabled and I love help. Like what? I'm kidding me. Oh, you're so cute and tiny and you're too young to be sick. I just don't like the extra comments with the help. Yeah, that, yeah, okay, uh, I get so that. So I'm moved because I think I have a little bit of a different experience. I am 100% physically abled, um, so I don't have the need for people to open doors for me. Like, I don't need help like that. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like girls gotta understand, if you're a disabled and you're a girl, you gotta understand some stuff people are helping you with. They're not helping you because they think you're disabled, they're helping you because you're a girl. Now, if you still don't like that, that's fine. But like, my mom taught me to open girl uh, doors just for girls. Like literally there was one time we went to go get food together and I forgot to open the door and she's uh, uh, um, just sitting there waiting for me to open the door for her. It doesn't always gotta be, you're disabled, I'm opening the door for you. Y'all being a girl guy. Uh, sometimes I have to cancel events and my friend, like my good friends understand that. And I feel like there's a difference between accommodation and patronizing. I remember before I had oh, my accident, I probably was, one of those people that we are talking about, when someone is overly enthusiastic about it or even sometimes unintentionally patronizing, I try in my experiences to instead educate them that I know I'm in a chair and I know that I look like I have a lot of issues, 
but trust me, I have been out here thugging it out for a while now. Good if boy. I need help, I'm, I'm not ashamed to ask for it. I've had strangers like come up behind me and just start pushing me, what the even fuck? though I don't necessarily need help with that. If you're somebody that I know and you see that I'm struggling, then you can go ahead and probably- No, people actually do that? Okay, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Now I ain't gonna lie, if you do that, you're a menace. Bro, you just, like, what? No, I'm not gonna lie, I can't, I need to see that, I believe it, but I need to, cause that's insane just to even, com I can't comprehend somebody just, what the fuck? That's the equivalent to me being black and people that come up to me just getting on their knee and doing, like, that's crazy, I could never just picture people- yeah, Help like, me, what? Wheel, but if you don't know me at all, please don't come up behind me yeah, and start crazy. trying to push me out of nowhere. It also puts us at risk of injury. I have nerve damage in my feet, so I look down a lot when I walk because it helps me keep my balance. And then I've had people see that I'm like trying to get through and they'll grab my arm to guide me and I almost always fall because I'm already so in my zone. So like, just don't touch people because you could injure them. What if people see you doing that and they think you're drunk? And that's not me making a joke. Because if I was to see that, I'm gonna be a real chat and people, I don't think when in a situation like that, what she explained, I don't think disabled, I think intoxicated. So I think, oh, let me help this person. That's probably what I would be thinking. I wouldn't be thinking disabled first, to be honest. Eight is difficult. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. We all in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's difficult on a various levels. I started having seizures when I was 18. Oh I became God. sick when I was about 16. Oh so I never got a license. I never got a car. Hey, so YouTube. that impairs my ability to even go Would find somebody being seizures disabled because stop from I don't get them? out of my house. A relationship with them? And then being on social security, you get paid hardly anything. So I can't even afford to really go out and do a whole lot. And then on top of that, trying to explain to a man that, oh yeah, you know, just to let you know, I'm, I'm a full package. It's going to have a huge effect on our relationship, on our ability to go out, on our sex life, on everything. Oh man, no sex. I came over here, because after listening to you, there's so many things that I totally resonate with, but then there's so many odd benefits that I think that comes with dating and having a disability. I got injured after a gymnastics accident Ooh. when I was 14 years old. Ooh. That left me quadriplegic. I never got to experience being, you know, a teenager, being wild, dating and all of those things. The people who have been in my life, we really had to get to know each other on a deeper level first before any other physical aspects were a part of it. Any That's true. People probably don't lust over you if you're disabled nearly as much from a woman's standpoint so people so if you have a dude flirting with you and you're disabled he probably unless it's a fetish which is crazy that that would be crazy but he probably actually enjoys you so low-key it's a it's a it's a gift and a curse i guess right anybody disabled or able-bodied all we want is someone who truly loves us yeah. for us and this is me I'm right here because uh, dating is not really in, in my focus right now, but I could see how hard it could be because, you know, I may not be able to live long. I ain't gonna lie, as a guy, being disabled, you're probably fucked. Girls can be disabled and get a, still get a relationship, you know what I'm saying? But as a guy, it's still possible, of course, but you're way more on the fuck end than but then a girl. At the same time, I think it could also be a good thing because I think, uh, a true love is when uh, you really understand each other. And the I standards. kind of agree with that. If I'm looking at my most recent relationship, my partner, he was really great. Like he took the time to understand my disability. Mm -hmm. What made it difficult at times was when I was having a lot of kidney issues mm -hmm. and I wasn't getting the greatest news from my doctors. And so I would be sobbing and he just had this need that he wanted to help. And I just told him like, I don't need anything physically from you. I just need you to just sit with me. Ever since we broke up and I've started getting back out and dating, I will get people that will ghost me because of looking able passing on like dating websites. They don't know right away. And I don't share it right away because I rather have a person conversation about it. I also hate the invasion. Oh, well that's kind of like, no offense, but that's kind of your fault. 
right? Like if I go on if I go on a dating website, I'm gonna tell people I'm black before, but they're gonna see it. But I would tell people I'm black before they like, you know what I'm saying? You kind of you kind of should tell or like if you were to be trans, right? You should say, "Oh, I'm trans" to make sure you minimize failure, I guess. Like it's kind of like you you should probably tell them if you want to. You know, I don't piece think, of like, questions that come with dating. Yeah. I've been asked so many times, can you even have sex? Or the men who fetishize it. Oh, I've had a guy ask me to bring the cane into the bedroom. Just insane, ridiculous things. I've had guys literally say they want to check it off on their bucket list to sleep with a girl in a chair That's or crazy. yeah, the invasive questions that come straight off the bat. I don't think people really see the fact that people with disabilities have sexual desires. I have a sex swing. I, that's amazing. It's the most accessible thing for me and it's great. <laughs> so you tell me like she's swinging and then the dude saying, and every time she comes back down, it's bah, bah, bah. Is that like that? Is that how that works? I'm, it's a genuine question. Shit, I might get one of them. <laughs> like. I have felt like a bird. Three, two, well, this is gonna be good. When it comes to my parents a lot of the time, because I'm paraplegic, um, I was in a car accident when I was 11. Wheelchair accessible vehicles are very, very expensive. So it's my parents or my brother that often have to take me from place to place. I know a lot of the time they don't mind and my mind just takes it to that place just because I'm, I can be a very pessimistic thinker a lot of the time, but I do a lot of the time feel like a burden in that way. I already know it's probably gonna break my mom's heart when she watches this, but before I could even figure out the words, felt like a burden to my parents because they took out so many loans before the VA finally agreed to cover me and they didn't agree until I stopped having back surgeries. I still feel to a degree I'm a burden and I'm a result of why most of my family's in poverty. Damn. And That's Man. Part of that is kind of the reason I moved all the way to Los Angeles. My family's on the East Coast, and I figured if I'm not near them, they can't take care of me. So Hold on. Let me get this straight. So your family was struggling with money, and then you moved to a more expensive city or a more expensive, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie. How the fuck does that even work? They're free to live however they want to live. I've had friends who have just left me because they didn't want to accommodate. And I try to work on that of like, no, I'm not a burden, but it's hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that. I'm literally over here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would say, look, I'm gonna give my opinion on this, right? She says she had friends that left her. If you were a really, really good friend, like you were funny, entertaining, and they really loved to have you around, I think they would look past it. You might have a, no offense, I'm not trying to be mean, mean, but you might have a mid personality to the point where they're like, uh, it's not worth the trouble. It might, it could, like, I'm, I'm being generous. Like, this is what I, generally what I think. It could be that. Because I had a friend that was, um, you know, a little bit, a little bit on the, uh, slower, you know, disabled end. But he was funny and entertaining to the point where I was like, oh, I'm going to keep you around, but I don't care, bro. I'll, 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 I'll sacrifice. I'll do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really just depends on you as a person, to be honest. So. I mean, if you really feel like you're being a burden, I, don't, I would say me personally, what I would do, nobody gives a fuck. I'm literally over here. <laughs> oh God. It's right. just hard with her sitting. <laughs> I know, I know that I'm a burden. I would not be here without my mom. She's a single parent and she has sacrificed everything for me. She has sacrificed her well being, her mental health. Man. I don't think that I tell her often enough how much I appreciate her. But I've, like, listening to you, I've, I've lost friends because I was too much of a burden. I was too much of a hassle. I always feel like a burden, but I can't stand on that line simply because 
the people who love me would hate that I feel this way because sense. I know that in their hearts I'm not a burden to them. But I would give anything to be able to make my life not affect others that I love negatively the way that it has. That's tough, bro. Because it's, it's the guilt that yeah. we feel with it because it's like, I see, my dad is like, a very stereotypical Puerto Rican man. He does not show emotions, but I can, I remember when I'd be screaming in the hospital, him fighting back tears because I know he blames himself because of his military service. And I feel That's just crazy. guilty. Like if I didn't exist or if just all, like my parents were pregnant before me and they lost that child. If that baby had stayed, oh, my dad wouldn't feel so much pain about something he can't control about my life. And I hate that, that I can't make their lives easier. It's the feeling that, that really like, it's out of control how you're making others feel. Cause like usually, you know, if you're um, nice, that person's gonna feel good. This is something that we just are. And like, it's hard enough to accept ourselves and like asking somebody else to accept us is hard. Oh my god. Can I give you love? Yeah. <laughs> like, cool. Thank you. I would change my disability. Three, two, one. Bro, I think they capping, bro. You're capping. So you telling me if you had a choice to stand, you wouldn't take that? Are you serious? I, 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 let me hear what they answer. Let me hear why. Because like, that's crazy. I'm right here because it has taught me many life lessons and it has made me a stronger person. When I was younger, I would used to get uh, stared at a lot and so, you know, that would really affect me. But because I experienced that, you know, I now have the strength to realize that how others are looking at me doesn't matter. It's given me a lot of opportunities to help people get out of their dark times. Bro, but I don't think you need to be disabled to have that lesson. I'm not, I don't. Like, I can stand and, I, bruh, I can stand and I have that exact same opinion he does. I don't think you being disabled, you don't have to, like, that, that can be one of the catalysts to start that, but that's not, you know, I, I feel like that doesn't need to be, there's way more other ways to, you know. Because if I uh, never experienced depression, you know, I would not be able to help people with depression. For me, I don't have a before. Being disabled's the only thing I've ever known. The word itself comes with a lot of community. It comes with a history that I'm so proud to be a part of that I just, I couldn't see myself living any other way. And like, I know people will say, well, there are more things about you than just your disability. True. And that's, I mean, that's true for everyone. There are other things about me, but everything I do, I do as a disabled person. And for me, that's the most empowering thing. I would change maybe like, I wish I could feel my feet again. That would be great. But I really wouldn't change much because it's given me such a community that I don't think I would have had. Even though I yeah, know true. that I've would, had yeah, an impact on people and I can relate to people in a way that I probably couldn't have before, I'm in pain every second of every day. I would give almost anything to not have that anymore. I got sick young, but I don't remember what it's like not to be in pain every day. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. I, I ain't gonna lie, Loki, their answers, not these, but the ones on the, on the left that disagreeing, that they're saying that they would rather stay disabled or be disabled, that's like me saying, oh yeah, I would choose, like if somebody gave me the choice, would you have been, would you take the, chance of being born rich over being born uh in poverty and me saying no nah, i'd stay uh born in poverty because then i wouldn't have met all the people that i've met and i wouldn't have learned these lessons about like i'm like bro what you bro fuck that give me that money like what like why would you i don't i don't get it bro i don't know have lived both experiences and similar to you i also am in pain almost every single day if I were to be able to take and swallow a pill tomorrow that would make me better, I would still be able to take all of the lessons and experiences exactly. that I've been able to garner right. from this accident and continue to build off it and do better things. But 
I think I would be really lying to myself to say that I wouldn't change it because I went yeah, from thanks. being someone who literally was as athletic as you could ever be, flying high and doing things with my body. And I feel very privileged to have lived that. Uh, and I know what that feels like and I miss it every single day. I am living a fulfilled life. Yeah, they could, it's possible. Not because like I don't love my life or anything like that. I can't say I'm fulfilled until you know I uh, impact more people. I'm uh, working to be a motivational speaker, and so I have a lot more to accomplish. Okay. Fair Again, going back to the last question, if I could change everything, of course. But I think that my life. Real, this last question, there's no point of really continuing this because they all kind of agreed. So yeah, okay, this is a good video. I know I like this video. Give me your opinion in the comments below. I don't think I said anything crazy. I just was giving my opinions. Don't be don't 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 be mean. Don't be mean, please.